Think whether the problem is true or false. Two angles are vertically opposite if and only if they are equal in size. I think this would be false because the if and only if. The if and only if means that they um, go it goes in opposite directions. So you could say two angles are vertically opposite. That implies they're equal in size. So they're opposite. Yeah. That implies they're equal. But being equal does not imply that they're opposite. Um, just because you know that two angles are equal doesn't mean that they're vertically opposite, right? So, I mean, if you had an equilateral triangle, those angles are equal, but they're not vertically opposite, you know, or you had um, some, I don't know, some other situation. Like, I just, I'm not sure about the reverse, the converse direction. Like, that's definitely okay but can we say that this is true i might google it and see let me check yeah google uh, is not finding any website that's made this claim before um yeah so i i think i i think this is false going off of the idea that the reverse, the converse statement is, is the unreliable part here. Okay. So. Okay. Let's copy this over. Two diagrams below show this the same rectangle, not the scale. The points B, D, and F lie on and um you have distance is 20, 30, 90, and you have the angle theta in the diagram B below G E and B D are extended. G E and B D are extended. So they meet at H. Prove. Prove that F, E and E, H in diagram B, they're equal. Let me highlight that. F, E and E, H. F, E and E, H. That they're equal. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, it relies on showing that these are congruent. Um, so in the triangle, um, E, F, D, and then we have the triangle, E, H, D. Um, angle, F. E D equals 90 degrees, which equals angle D E H um, E D equals E D. So now it comes down to just showing that one of the angles are one of the sides is the same here, maybe going with the angle. So this angle we know is the same as this angle and this angle, same as this angle here. So that angle's a circle, which makes that angle a circle. And um, that's a dot, it makes that a circle. Therefore, that's a dot. Okay, I have to trace my logic out for what I did. Let's go back in time. Note, angle, um, and just to save time, I'm just gonna say the angle at F. 
dot equals oh no I better not because it's not clear yeah okay angle E F D equals angle C B D so I'm saying we know that's the same as that and so that implies um, angle B D C equals angle F D E since so you know that this angle Oh, this is actually a little bit different to how I did it last time. I want to keep it the same. So we know that these two angles are the same because they're vertically opposite. Angles E, D, H equals angle B, D, C because they're vertically opposite. Um, so that means angle D H E this angle here has to equal uh, angles uh, here and here because they have to add up to 90 I want to make this clearer in my logic angle E D H plus angle D H E E D H and D H E that has to equal ninety degrees. Also angle E F D plus angle F E D no not F E D um E D F has to equal ninety but E D H equals E D C E D H equals B D C yeah, okay. But okay. E E D See it's easier for me just to put it in the dots on the diagram. I'm losing track of what I'm saying here. Sorry about this. Okay. Note E F D E F D Okay, now let me just let me just start over, I'm very sorry. This angle angle E F D equals angle down here D B C this is given angle b c d equals 90 degrees which also equals angle f e d they're about 90. therefore angle um f d e must equal angle b d c that this angle has to equal this angle an angle BDC equals angle EDH because they're vertically opposites. Therefore, angle EHD, this angle here, has to equal angle EFD. So we can now say, um, all the angles are equal and we know that they share this side here so therefore um, 
we can arrive at the length Fe equals the length EH. And also, not that they ask it, but the length FD equals the length DH. Okay. Ooh. Right, that was a bit messy. Hence, otherwise, by the size of angle theta. Okay, now I've got to find theta. Right, 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 right. Um, let's mark in all the theta. So here's a theta, here's a theta, here's a theta. Okay. Um, we know that that's 90, that's 20, and that's 30. So what can I do about, how is this helpful? Let me pause for a moment. It's quite a long video now, 10 minutes. I just paused for a few seconds there and I just realized that this triangle here, that large triangle is congruent to this smaller triangle. Uh, and this 20 here, are these, okay, are these parallel? Yeah, so that's a 10. Okay, does that help at all? Yeah, because that makes this side here, if the total is 50, that has to be 40. Okay, that's 30. That's 20. That's 10. Oh, that's 90. Okay, okay. And that's the theta there. So I could say opposite over adjacent tan theta is 90 over 40. Okay, I think I'm onto a winner. Tan, tan inverse 90 over 40, 66 degrees. That looks reasonable. It looks more like than 45 degrees. That 20 projects up there to, yeah, okay. Kind of a tough question. This is my weakest part of the syllabus. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. 10 to 20, that's 10 and 10, that makes 50, 40, 90 all the way. That's theta, opposite over adjacent, we're not including the hypotenuse. Yeah, 